World Made Men. History is shaped by persona, about whom stories are told. Sometimes such persona are children. Well, what kind of parent does not dream that their kid turns out to be a genius? Well, or simply talented, or at least not like all the ordinary kids. Parents go out of their way, dragging their children to all kinds of studios, schools, courses, while the kids, all in tears, simply dream of being like everyone else. All they want is to have a pointless, or at least how the parents would call it, childhood. No, the parents, of course, are right, trying to shake out something special out of their child. After all, they were told that every child has the makings of a genius, and their parental duty is to cultivate the child's abilities. In fact, Mozart would not have become who he was if it was not for his daddy, who kept hovering and watching over him, and who was also actively engaged in promoting his child. It was worth it. Mozart composed his first song at the age of six. He started playing the harpsichord when he was three years old. He wrote his first symphony by the age of eight, and the first opera at 12. Really now, how can you not admire such a father, especially when you compare him with that of another genius, George Friedrich Handel? His father always dreamed that his son would become a lawyer and prevented the boy from making music in every way possible. At night, the boy would run to the attic and play music on the harpsichord, which, by the way, he learned independently at the age of four. The problem is that so far, science has not solved the mystery of child prodigies. We are talking about those who were not only gifted in their childhood, but also did not lose this gift in adulthood. For example, a brilliant physicist, mathematician, and philosopher, Blaise Pascal, was a genius of mathematics since childhood. He discovered a theorem when he was only 16. Pascal was considered a pioneer builder of computing machines, having built more than 20 of them in the early years of his career. But he did not live in the 19th century, and not even the 20th, but in the 17th. John Van Neumann mastered the foundations of higher mathematics by the age of eight. He made a significant contribution to the development of quantum mechanics. By the way, it was he who developed the theory of games, a method that has been widely used in various fields from economics to military strategy. Well, baby Bobby Fischer was a favorite of the whole planet. It was fair enough as Bobby was a unique chess genius. At 13, he won the US Junior Championship and at 14 became the US champion, the youngest ever. A year later, when he was 15, he became the youngest grandmaster in history, and in 1972, the world chess champion. In other words, even if science does not know the secret behind child prodigies, and even though the child could keep a grudge against their parents from depriving them from their normal childhood, it is definitely worth a shot. What if the child is really not like everyone else? This is one of the rare cases where instead of the usual, do not try this at home, we tell you, go for it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos in the World Made Men series. Thank you for watching.